critically injured on a fishing vessel yesterday morning has now been airlifted to hospital in St. John's. Tanker 50 nautical miles south of Hibernia was airlifted to St. John's today. People are in hospital lucky to be alive after a helicopter crash on the south coast. fishermen, this was both the worst and best day of their lives. They were burned off their boat and then rescued all in about an hour. They had an injured crew member to receive medical help. The crew aboard the helicopter reached the Chinese bulk carrier just after noon today and retrieved the injured man. Search and rescue officials say the injured man is in stable condition. He was hurt during rough seas two days ago. And he was delayed getting to hospital because the Chinese vessel was outside helicopter range.
This is a truly gripping story that dominated our newscasts and everybody else's during the past week. This was a story of the ocean and a story of survival. Not all stories, as you know, from the Atlantic have happy endings, but this week, as we have seen earlier in our newscast, there are special reasons to give thanks. All of the crew members of the Nautical Legacy are alive and well and home with their families this evening following the loss of their vessel and their dramatic rescue by the crew of a Cormorant rescue helicopter. start tonight in Labrador, where the search for two men and their missing airplane was... helicopter like this one that brought two injured seamen to hospital at St. John's yesterday has a much longer flight ahead of it tomorrow when it attempts to airlift an injured Chinese seaman from a vessel. The cormorant will fly from Gander and touch down to refuel at the Hibernia platform. From there it will travel farther east to meet the Chinese ship. The ship was 400 kilometers from Hibernia early today and was making only three knots an hour in heavy seas. 